Uh, right, we're going to talk Declan Rice now and loads of other players as well, not just Declan Rice. Um, but we're going to talk about players like, for example, like Jude Bellingham, Harry Kane, James Madison, Mason Mount and so on. Um, Declan Rice's West Ham contract expires next year, but the club have the option of extending a deal for a further year. Um, this is interesting. During the White and Jordan show this morning, Jim revealed how much it would take for West Ham to consider selling their prized asset this summer. So our understanding, 120 million plus add-ons will get them. 120 million pounds plus add-ons would secure your Declan Rice. We understand that Manchester United last summer bid 100 million and didn't get them. Chelsea, Arsenal and United still in the frame, it's understood. Still giving chase. But what would it take? That's what it would take. 120 million plus add-ons. Uh, so Declan Weiss is one of the players that we're talking about possibly leaving at the end of um, this season. Harry Kane being another one. I want to talk to you about James Madison. We'll talk to you Belling as well. I want to talk to you about James Madison. Now, he signed um, he signed a four-year deal in, in 2022. He's 26 years old. But um, with Leicester, I sort of feel he's, he's not really... He's not really going anywhere with that club. I think he's an excellent player. His numbers are fantastic. Do you think same numbers, by the way, as Odegaard this season? Mm. Do you think that James Madison would would be um, a target for many a top club? I've got Newcastle, Liverpool, Spurs, and City. Yeah, I think he would be. Um, when you look at his numbers, I mean, he's hardly played this season. Fifteen games, got eight goals, four assists. Last season, thirty-five goals, thirty-five games, twelve goals, and eight assists. I mean, he's, he's putting it's incredible. He's backing it up. He's backing it up with numbers. Yeah, I, I think he's at that point now where he needs to go to the next level. That's no disrespect to Leicester. But where Leicester have been, certainly the last couple of seasons, hasn't been great, you'd have to say. Mm-hmm. This season has been quite, by their standards, with the players they've got, has been disappointing. I know he's not really featured. Um, but yeah, I'd love to see James Madison now potentially go to a Champions League club. I think he'll do his international career some good as well. Because Do, do you? There's, I, a, there's obviously a problem, isn't there, between him yeah. and Southgate? Or not between him, with Gareth Southgate? I think so. But I think if he, if he goes to a Champions League club, for instance, and he's playing really well, that at the same level... At Champions League level, he's doing it in the Premier League, top ends of the Premier League, and he's doing it in the Champions League. Mm. I think it's going to be incredibly hard for Gareth to still leave him out. I don't think he's going to have a choice. And he's a great age at the moment, so just 26 years old. He's about to come to his pomp. I was going to say, is it still 27 for football? Maybe it's a bit later, 27, 28, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. How much are we looking at for someone like James Madison? And he just had a new four year deal? Yeah, in last year. Ooh. 60, 70, maybe 70 plus? Yeah. Yeah, but you look at, you look at the going rate now, we're seeing defenders going for what? Well, look at Enzo Fernandez. I know he's a World Cup winner, but that was. Still, a, I still can't believe it's, it's 106 that. million. Like Leicester could go, we want 70. I think that's going to be one of the worst deals ever. No, Chelsea. I think he's a good player. Not, he's not worth 115 million. Who is? He's not though. I mean, who is? Like, it's hard. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, let's talk about uh, Jude Bellingham. His deal expires 24-25. He's going to go right. He's going to go this summer. Yeah. See, uh, him. He can. He's going to have the pick of where he wants to go. Like I, I would love to see him at Arsenal, of course. Mm-hmm. If not him, if not Arsenal, Real Madrid. But I think the team that needs him the most is Liverpool. I think they, they look at their midfield. You've obviously got Jules Dez, their captain, but he is getting on in age. Thiago's never really been blessed with sp- that pace, pace yeah. speed. You've got Naby Kate, who's, who looks like he's going to be leaving in the summer because his contract's up. Uh, you've got, who else is in there? Uh, Milner can play in there. Old brigade. Yeah, like Curtis Elliott, Davis. Do you know what I mean? They've got all these players. But I think um, I think they're the, the team, Liverpool, that need him the most. I think he's the one. In, you put yeah, him in there. I, I think I, th- I think you're right, and I think it's going to be very interesting to see what the ball do because Jurgen Klopp needs backing. Mm. He's, he's talked about other clubs, of course Chelsea being the main one about how much money they're spending. You sort of feel as though he hasn't been backed. That could be the one that breaks. Yeah, I it, totally that, agree. that could be the one that breaks it yeah. all apart. Yeah, if he says go and get me Bellingham, get 120 million. I need this player. Yeah, and I think by the way, whatever you pay within reason, 120, 130 mm. for Bellingham. Bear in mind how young he is and what he brings, and you can start building the team for the around, next five, exactly. six years, minimum around him. Yeah, that, that I think it's so important for Liverpool. You're right. That could be the one where that's where it could all fall to pieces at mm. Liverpool. If he goes to the board and said, "Listen, Bellingham wants to come to us, but we need 120 million." If they then go, and, and by the way, and wages, and, crazy yeah, wages. Exactly. So if, if he then says we need him, and then Liverpool say no and don't back him, then there's a big, there's going to be a big. Big problem there yeah. because Jurgen Klopp will go. What, what am I doing here for then? Yeah. We got we got one of the the best talents in Europe, if not the best. Wanted to come to our football club. We need to make this happen. Mm. Uh, Harry Kane, Spurs have come out. Um, I think it was today actually said they're going to do everything in their powers to keep him at the club. They've also said supposedly they're not going to sell him to another English club if he were to go. I don't think Harry Kane's going to leave this country because no. he's so close to Alan Shearer's. Well, not so close, but he's maybe three, four yeah. seasons away. Do you know what? I, I'd be stunned if he leaves Spurs. 
Would you? Yeah, I'd be stunned if he leaves Spurs. Because for me, the, the ideal spot... I'm, I'm starting to side with that now, yeah, actually, Benny. The ideal spot for him, of course, is Manchester United or Chelsea. There's no way on the planet that Daniel Levy is selling him to Chelsea. That's not going to happen, just because of the hatred between the two clubs. Manchester United is the one that makes sense. But I've just got this feeling. He, he just broke Jimmy Greaves' record. He's going to go on and score many more goals. He's got it all good at Spurs. And I'm, I'm guessing, looking at him and how much he loves playing for that football club, it would probably mean more to him to win any type of trophy at Spurs than maybe go to Manchester United if, and win a fifth. If he would have won the League Cup by now, yeah. would it be a no-brainer that he stays at Spurs for the rest of his career? Depend, depends, really, how, okay. how ambitious they are. But I, I honestly, I'm starting to feel that it looks like to me his likely destination is to be exactly where he's at for another till he retires okay uh, quick word on Declan Rice I know we talk about Declan Rice all the time I sort of mm. get bored we're talking about where he's going to go well, there's a few people that can do with him isn't there there's yeah. Arsenal I mean he's just a fantastic player right he's I mean 120 million is a bit like oh fuck that's a lot of money but yeah Arsenal could do with him Manchester United could do with him even though you've got Casemiro so yeah. them so two Casemiro's together Casemiro's 30 years old yeah Liverpool could do with him yeah Everyone needs that type of holding midfield okay. player. Out of all the players we've talked about, Rice, Kane, Bellingham, Madison. Oh, we haven't talked about Mason Mount. What do you think will happen to him? Because I don't think he's going to get any more game time. Or not. He won't be first choice if everyone's fit at Chelsea now, will he? Potentially not. But there's also that they're talking about he wants 250 grand a week. Well, he's not, oh, if I is say that, he's, is that, is yeah, that apparently, yeah. He wants, that's what he wants, and that's where the stumbling block is. So if he's, he's not going to get that. The, the, the footballers are earning so The much only thing money. is, though, is that he's one of their own. For a quarter of a million pounds. Well, it's one of their own, so you know what it's like. Two fifty a week. Yeah, he's asking for apparently. Apparently, that must be up there with the top earners at Chelsea, right? Would be, yeah. I don't know what kind of big, big money. I think Reece James is their t- highest earner, and rightly so. Is he? Yeah, of course he On is. On what? What's it? Three hundred. Three hundred. Three eight two eighty something like Imagine that. Imagine what you'd be earning now if you were playing. I mean, what? no, I'm saying number nines. There's not a lot of them about. I mean, like you talk, we talk about Chelsea. Mm. They're desperate for one. Yeah, right? Liverpool. I think Liverpool are desperate for a number. An out, but but an they've, out, got, they've got Nunez, and he'll be better next year. Yeah, maybe. But Mason Mount but, is a funny one because Liverpool are sniffing. But I think if you've got the opportunity, and Mason Mount's a good player, but if you've got the chance to get, you're not getting them both. But if you get Bellingham or Mason Mount, you're going Bellingham, right? Bellingham is one of the best players in the world, isn't he? For that age bracket, <sighs> 19 years old. Yeah, it's probably not a better teenager on the planet, right? How old is Mbappe? Mm. He's 21? Like 20, 22? 22, 23. Yeah, okay. I think he, he might be 24, but okay. he's a World Cup winner. <laughs> yeah, is Bellingham's best teenager on the planet? No, it's tough, isn't it? There's loads of good teenagers about... I think Bellingham's in the conversation. Yeah, oh, yeah, for sure. Say. He's in the yeah. conversation. Okay.